raise the money to do a really good documentary because there's nobody other than myself that was actually in the courtroom day after day after day after day after day after day after day. And even when I wasn't in the courtroom, I was out interviewing the fans and getting the outside scene. That's why I have so much footage. I have more footage probably than any other single individual anywhere in the world. I have footage that the big networks don't have. We're going to try to show you some of that. But all during the trial, in 2005, I did a show almost every week on the trial. I did 12 of them before the jury verdict. I want to go to a little tape now, but just before, uh, and show you a little bit of one of those shows. But before we go to the tape, I want to say to you fans, of the millions of you around the world, just in the United States, England, Germany, France, Italy, if there were 100,000 fans, 100,000 fans, that would each put up just $50. We would have $5 million to do a real good documentary of what really happened. Not that play acting stuff you saw on one of the channels at the time, but a really good documentary, and I know what was going on behind the scenes. It's in the book I have not yet released, because I don't think Jackson fans would buy the book in enough numbers. And I helped Aphrodite Jones. I promoted her book. But you fans, and some of you own restaurants, some of you own garages, and I met some of you. You have businesses. But is there not just 100,000 fans that would put up $50 to see the real truth of how dirty a trial this really was that the National TV Network never let you know about? In fact, most of you didn't even know I was doing this show all during the Jackson trial, and virtually after the second show I did on the Michael Jackson trial, I kept needling the prosecutor. Show me one witness, just one witness that doesn't get caught in their lies. Did you see that in 2005 on national TV? No, you didn't. I'll tell you something else that isn't reported. The Italian television network was here too, and they pulled out after about a month and a half or two months and I asked the, one of the assistant directors for that Italian crew, why are you leaving? He said, this is crap. In sort of Italian language, I mean English, but with a real Italian accent, this is crap. You know, he knew this was a rigged trial. So let's go to a little bit of that show I was doing to see. Sharon Sidney was reporting for the Justice, I think it was called the Justice Center at the time. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Any white men? Keep it alive. Keep it real. Is it three feet high? I think it's three feet high. Maybe about three feet high. But she couldn't and, bend the and car it has, under like, it. Holes in it. Big it's like gaps bars between. It's just, <laughs> it is like three bars. It is like this high. Seriously. Jay, if you're listening, Jay, we're laughing at you. The whole world is laughing at you. You got caught over it. Without without calling me up on anything. And you want to keep watching on Second Thought because I'm going to go to Los Angeles. I want to cover the uh, perjury charges when they started filing perjury charges against her for 2001 felony perjury on a welfare form. Mm -hmm. I think the media ought to cover that as yeah. much as the false allegations against this good musician, Bo Jackson. Now, you probably don't believe me, but believe it or not, there's actually a guy out at Neverland saying, thank God for Tom Snedden because he brought up all this stuff, and now it's all cleared away. No one can ever accuse Michael again. All this, they reached way back to 93, brought in all this as a bonus. Thank you, Tom Snedden. You don't believe me, do you? But we're going to have to go and show you that tape. Uh, it's amazing. You know, it's amazing. Actually, this guy's, way, we should thank Tom Snedden right before we lock him up in jail. <laughs> We should, we, we should. We should say, thank you, Tom Snedden. Now, please get in your jail cell and stay there for five years. Oh, do we have to give him a trial first? Well, I think that's the maximum you can give him for, for felony evidence tampering. But uh, there's probably a lot more to Are we going to stack the charges on him like you did to Michael Jackson? No, but considering what he's done, I think there's probably a lot more. Well, sure, there's, there's abuse of office. There's, 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 a, there's a felony called abuse of office. All right, you don't believe me. 
Watch this guy. He's going to say, thank you, Tom Sneddon, for reaching, because you really cleared out all the stuff. Here we go to tape. Be back in a minute. Thank you and all your twisted uh, buddies for um, bringing up a lot of stuff that people had some questions about and clearing it, clearing it all up. There's no more questions. Really? I mean, yeah, there was some molestation stuff from 2001, and that's all taken care of. You know, we got Macaulay Culkin, Brett Barnes. Who else was there? Uh, uh, Wade Robinson. Yeah, Wade Robinson. And what was the other set? 93 as a bonus. <laughs> it was extra credit. You know what I mean? I mean I've got to say thank you. I'm sorry. For doing, he was taking care of business, doing his job. And, you know, now nobody can say anything. He left no he left no stone unturned. He certainly didn't. So, you know, thank you. And, and uh, unfortunately for him, it all turned out negative. So we are very we are very happy and we are very thankful that that justice has prevailed and Michael has been proven innocent. Yeah. Thank God for Tom Sneddon. Yeah. Are, are you listening, Mr. Sneddon? Are you listening? I told you there was Lee J from Lompoc. Now, I'm not getting his last name, but the people in the local area around the Central Coast, they know who that is. But, yes, thank you, Mr. Sneddon, and we'll be sure and send you uh, Michael's newest CD so you can listen to it in jail. Oh, wait a minute, don't we have to give him a trial first? <laughs> well, wait, they don't even have CD players in jail. Oh, they don't? Oh, uh, maybe Michael will send Tom Sneddon a little portable CD player. <laughs> you know, Michael is so merciful. Yeah. He is so kind. Kind to a fault. He might actually do that. Yeah. You might actually send, here, Sneddon, listen to my new CD, and I'm touring the, are you enjoying, <laughs> are you enjoying the jail cell, Mr. Sneddon? You think I'm joking about this, but I'm, I'm really not joking. Uh, I had some serious conversation with some Michael Jackson fan presidents of different clubs around Europe, and it occurred to us, if there's 100,000 Michael Jackson fans around the world, and each one of them gave just the equivalent of $1 or $5, we could raise a hundred to a half a million dollars to elect in 06 a new district attorney whose duty it would be to prosecute Mr. Ron Zonin, Gordy Auchincloss, and Tom Sneddon. Now you may think this has never happened before, but actually it has. It happened in Winnebago County, Wisconsin, where a crooked district attorney who was selling justice uh, was convicted in a federal court in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and I believe right now is still serving time. We may be getting out soon. But uh, coming back to home here, I really truly believe that this thing has been so over the top uh, that we need to have a trial, a quick, short, fair one. Unfortunately, we cannot hang Mr. Sned. It's not a capital offense to abuse your office. But I think it ought to be. I say we need to elect somebody who will fire everybody in the district attorney's office who didn't blow the whistle on Tom Sneddon, who knew the evidence was being falsely tampered with at the grand jury, and then sent out for fingerprint analysis. Everybody in that office is an accessory and should be charged and should go to jail if found guilty by a jury of musicians and Michael ja Jackson's fans. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fair? I would like to see all those people have a jury of Michael Jackson's fans, just like Michael had a jury of mostly all white, mostly older, not one black person on the jury. Uh, you know, I would like to see it reversed. We have all Michael Jackson fans on the jury. Do you think he would, do you think Stubb be found guilty, Brianna? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, that would be awful. Gosh, I'd be so sad. Let me get my crocodile tears out. I, I can't find a tear, Sharon. I'm trying to get that crocodile tear out. I think it goes a lot deeper than evidence tampering. I think he himself had conspiracy going on. When the mother of the accuser took the stand, you knew right then there was absolutely no credibility to this lady. How can you take on this type of case meeting this woman without investigating the so either he didn't investigate and he was so out to get michael that he did not look into it you're right. or he knew it was a total falsehood and he did it anyway and that's you're right. criminal okay that's three charges now and we have sure conspiracy <laughs> conspiracy charge against sneddon and all those that helped him all those accessories before and after the fact so you got conspiracy you've got uh, evidence tampering 
and we have felony abuse of office. That's three felonies. I think we could get him in jail for 15 years. You know, stack them, stack those years. I, Mr. Mr. Smith, they give you three meals uh, a day in prison. Uh,